Hi everyone, today I thought I would do kind of a haul from Yoseka Stationery. I got a couple bottles of ink and the newest Quebeco Sport. I didn't do an unboxing just because I don't have, I don't have the patience from the time I get the package to the time that I can do the unboxing. There's just too long in between, so I, whenever I get a package, I just like rip that sucker open with brute force. Um, I don't, I don't have the time to or I don't have the patience to think about setting it aside for a future video. So hopefully this is fine. So first I got the uh, the Lavender Caveco Collector's Edition. I got this from Yoseka and I know that Caveco had an issue in production. So some of them on the cap say Caveco Sport, like, um, like the regular ones. They say Quebeco Sport. They're supposed to, on this collector's version, they're supposed to say uh, Quebeco Collection, but there was like an oops, I guess, and um, they came, some of them came with the right words and some of them came with the wrong words. Uh, I specifically asked for the one that was incorrect, just because I thought this would be, oh, do you hear those birds? Spring is coming, y'all. It's, oh my gosh, she's on her way right now. She's just, she's coming this way. Oh, that's so, that is so lovely. Hearing the birds when like winter starts to break is my favorite sound in the whole world. But anyways, um, I specifically asked for the one that was incorrect, just because I thought it would be kind of like a, more of a collector's item, if you will. It would have be more rare, I guess, have more value, even though I really don't plan on selling this ever because look at this color. This is just gorgeous. Um, I got the Nostalgia clip on it and I got this in, I've already inked this because I got this yesterday. No patience. Um, I got this in a broad nib and I got um, I inked this with one of these, so I'll just show you the writing when I get to swatching these inks and I get to the one that I put in it. Um, if you did get the Caveco with the wrong words on it, if it says Caveco Sport, you can email Caveco and they will send you the correct cap for free. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, maybe I could and then I'd have two caps and then maybe it would be more cool. I don't know. I just don't care. I really just wanted the wrong one because I thought it would be fun. I don't know. Anyways, so I got a couple bottles of ink. They are all Sailor Ink Studio because that has quickly become my favorite ink brand. I'm gonna kind of put them in order, I guess. So I got 123, 224, 280, 431, and 735. I was noticing in my ink collection that I did not have like a bright, fun pink. And so I got that one. And then I also didn't have a true dark purple. Like I have um, Yamabuto, Aroshizuku Yamabuto, which is one of my favorite inks of all time, but it is magenta E, I guess. And so I just wanted like a true dark purple. So I have some Tomoe River paper to, nope, this is not Tomoe River paper. This is Tomoe River paper. This is the 52 GSM, the old Tomoe River paper. Now we have to say that, I guess. So I will do one, two, three first. Do you want to see that? I don't know. I don't know how to do these videos. I'm just turning the camera on. I haven't really done a video in a long time. So every time I turn the camera on, I just like forget what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I'll zoom you in a little bit. 
there we go. Um, I don't own paper towels, so I can't do like the cool paper towel thing that everybody does with their like dip pen and they dab it on the paper towel and then you can see kind of chromatography, is that the word? Um, I don't own any, so head over to Amanda B's channel if you want to see that kind of stuff because she's actually doing like the whole Sailor Ink Studio line and I blame her for some of these, so there's that. What is this? Oh. I think this is probably one of Sailor's most popular inks, just because it is so weird and cool. But I've had a couple samples of this and I figured that I should probably just grab a bottle before Sailor decides to do something crazy and like discontinue it or something. So, got a bottle of that. Um, I write with my, I actually write with my paper like, like I'm sitting right here and I kind of write with my paper like this. So sorry that I'm moving this all over the place, but hopefully you don't mind. So 224 is kind of similar to 123, but a little darker, obviously, because it's a two, it starts with a two instead of a one. This video was also kind of made for Amanda B because she was saying in one of her most recent videos that all of the people that she watches on YouTube, all of the pen people she watches, aren't making any videos. And so this one's for you, Amanda. I also can vouch and say nobody's making videos, but mostly because I'm just so tired. I'm just so tired of winter and I got put into quarantine last week because my dad took a COVID test. He gets one every week. Um, I'm going to do 280 while I talk, but he gets one every week so that he can visit his mom in the nursing home. And so he actually got his first round of vaccine of the vaccine and three days later he had to take the test to visit his mom and he tested positive and he kind of was like I don't believe that for a second he's like I don't feel any different I I don't think that that's um true I guess and so he took the test on a Saturday and he got those results on Monday night uh, and I had seen him twice in that time, in that time frame, when he took the test and had no, and didn't have the results yet. Um, and so he kind of called BS on that and then took another test on Tuesday and then got the results the next day saying that they were negative. So basically he got a false positive. Well, the health department called him, you know, as they always do if you're if you test positive, they will call you and tell you what to do and whatnot. Um, well, they called me because he told them that we were together and they put me in quarantine, but they didn't even put my dad in quarantine. And we both told them like the same story, you know, he tested positive, he didn't believe it and he took another test and it was negative. So obviously it must have been the, um, vaccine that like triggered it or something I don't know but I'm like what the heck why am I in quarantine for coming into contact with the person that didn't get the virus and doesn't have to go into quarantine either so I don't even know I don't understand but today is Tuesday right today's my last day of quarantine um I have until midnight tonight to stay in quarantine I guess um 
I don't know, they call me every day and they're like, how are you doing? Do you have a fever? Are you good? And like, they call me as I'm like on my way home from the grocery store or something. I'm like, yep, quarantine's doing really good. I don't know. Like, I definitely take the virus seriously and everything, but like, this was just a wacky situation. I don't believe that my dad had it. I don't. Nobody believes that my dad had it, so. I think it was just the vaccine. So I'm not trying to like say I had COVID and I went on the town or anything like that. So don't come for me, but I don't know. It's just been craziness. So this Sailor 431 is, it looks way darker on screen. It's like eye searing. You kind of need sunglasses to look at this, but I don't know. I wanted like a bright, punchy pink, I guess. And this is definitely a punch you in the face kind of a pink. So it's a little, it's a little brighter than I thought it would be, but I am here for it. I like it. And then the last one is Sailor 735. And this is what I have in my Caveco. So I'm going, I'm going to write with the Caveco instead. So hopefully your week has been better than mine, <laughs> but we're all good. Um, my daughter, she had COVID uh, December of 2019, like before anybody really understood what was happening. So I think we're all kind of um, immune to it by now. I don't know. I don't know how that works with like the new strains and whatnot, but... That was definitely a scary time. I'm gonna zoom out again. Okay. There is one, two, three, two, two, four. Yeah, you can see they're pretty similar. Um, I would say that you can kind of see it in the screen maybe. I don't know, two, two, four is greener and one, two, three is bluer, but they both have that pretty pink undertone. And then Sailor 280 is a favorite. It's one of their newer ones that they came out with last year. And I love it. It's just murky and beauteous. And then my two oddballs, I guess you should you could say, because they're like so different from the other three. But I love them. I love my new additions and I love my Caveco. I have three now. I like my my little trio. Lavender, the Galen Leather Cognac, and then this is, uh, I can't remember, this is the Lagoon Blue color. I can't remember if it was a Hong Kong or a Taiwan special edition. Um, you can find it on Amazon still. That is my, oh, you know what? Actually, I also got this washi tape for no other reason than it was so cute. So I'm gonna show you if I can open it up. It is a mole in his like little underground house. So he's like painting a picture and working at his desk and he's getting mail. He's got a fish and he's looking at the stars. And then I think it does one more. Yeah, it does one more. So then he's like sleeping, going out, cooking, eating with a friend, reading a book, and then taking a bath. And there's like a little bug right here. And then it starts over again with him at his desk. But it's just so cute. Now watch as I roll this back up carefully because I just took out way too much. Okay, <laughs> but I got that just because it was so cute. Okay, well, that is my, not these, that is my Yoseka stationery haul. Let me know if you want to see my ink collection because I've acquired 
as you can see, but I've acquired a lot more ink bottles because I'm kind of working towards um, not buying so many samples and just sticking with fewer ink bottles, I guess. So I've kind of completed, I think, my ink collection. So let me know if you want to see that and maybe that'll be the next video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!